I was just wondering when that when you guys got the basket of fries. Is that pretty recent? What is your what's on your order? We ended up going to McDonald's, and when we were there, we saw this sign that showed that they have a basket of fries at McDonald's. Maybe we could bring a basket, like like an Easter basket, to McDonald's for Easter. You want some of this basket? You just go like that. You put it right in the cupboard. Oh, nice. Yeah. Travel fries. <laughs> we should have made a video about that. It's four large fries. Four large fries. All right. <laughs> Look at like, like perfect the way they're sticking up like that. So we end up at the next Tesla charging spot, which has a lot of different restaurants. One of our destination along this trip is gonna be Philadelphia. While we were at the food court, when we noticed that there was a Philly cheesesteak restaurant, we had to stop there and eat that as lunch for the Philly cheesesteak video. It's gonna be included in that other video, but this is when we did it. So we had our lunch, we got back on the road because we gotta go to Virginia. It's where we're gonna sleep tonight. And Munchie is with us along the entire way. She's so cute. In this hotel in Virginia, we were like, let's keep it easy going and go to the restaurant at the bar. So we went to La Grata Ristorante and we sat at their bar and we had impeccable service. Seriously, I ate too much. <laughs> and the food felt like it continued to come out. I decided to order a bottle of wine because I can be a lush these days and they take out the whole decanter and open it up, as they say. You have to let the wine aerate in order for it to encapsulate the full flavor. Give me, give me all the facts, JP. Why do they do it? Well, in layman's terms, I just know that it, uh, rep, it just induces more. Uh huh. Um, uh -huh. What? It, like, like oxygen uh -huh. into the into the wine, causing it to Thank you. fully develop its flavors. If, if you don't decant, then you you're not drinking the wine to its fullest flavor. Basically the first thing that we got as an appetizer was a beef carpaccio that was topped with parmesan and capers and oil with a little bit of parsley on top. You do a lift up. Oh, you right? lift too high. And then you do a twirl. Oh, and you, then boom. And that's how you take half of it in one. <laughs> what the heck, Amy? I mean, that's not the way you do it. That's really good. It's light, it's refreshing, it's very citrusy. Yeah, it's got citrus. It's different. This is me in my best element. It looks raw, but it isn't. And then I also ordered the burrata with prosciutto, and oh my god, this was also delicious. The bread came out with this really delicious sun-dried tomato like oil that we were spreading on the bread too. I couldn't get my hands off of this, so I told myself at the beginning that I wasn't gonna eat the bread, but then when that sauce came out, I was like, mm -hmm, bread me. Up next came out our entrees, so JP he had the seafood dish that had white fish and shrimp with this really delicious cheesy potato and some vegetable and a butter sauce. Oh, are these yellow green tomatoes? How are you feeling about it? No, they're heirloom tomatoes. Fried yellow tomatoes? They're just heirloom. I feel connected from my Asian roots. <laughs> And I had a pasta dish with mussels and clams and God, we dug in with all the Parmesan shaped on top. This restaurant's banging. I feel like I'm in Italy. Driving. It's off in a safe place. I've got my dog. She just took a big poop. We're ready and we're gonna drive two hours and 58 minutes to a place to get cheese steaks. And there it is. Royal Farms, world famous chicken and fresh kitchen. At our next Tesla charging point, we stopped at a Royal Farms, which is like a Wawa, maybe a discount version. So I gotta intervene here because this blew my mind seeing a Wawa literally like look like a Walmart with like a tray of deep fried food. I didn't eat anything here, but I just wanted to show everybody. H have you been here? This place looks awesome. It just seems so much like Wawa, all the types of food that I would eat. Um, but you know what? We had to charge the car and I had to go. So it's seriously starting to get cold. I like needed my jacket and I think it was like 60 degrees and I couldn't even bear it. But you know what? I was realizing that the face mask is acting like a scarf. So I'm gonna keep it on. Gotta keep Munchie walking while JP explores all the convenience stores across the United States. We made it to Philadelphia, where we're going to take on the challenge to eat every single Philly cheesesteak that we possibly can in a 48 to 52 hour period. So we don't have too much time, but there's a lot of cheesesteaks to eat. Holy crap, that's cheesy. Oh my gosh, this one probably is the best. It definitely looks the best. The au jus and the bread and everything that's happening here, it's just, it's bomb. This is so good. Oh yeah. Oh, this is the best one. This video is not dedicated to that link popping up, but until then, wanna know what happened? Well, I got it for you, Hershey Park. 
Yeah, it's been a dream of mine since the beginning of time to go to a place where they have a factory where they make chocolate so I can make the chocolate and then I can eat it.